Hey everyone, Donnie here, and thanks for joining me today on this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77. Today I have something totally awesome for you. Brand new product from Holy Stone. This is a new upgraded version of the HS720. Now this one's a 720E. What that E stands for is Electronic Image Stabilization, guys. So it has a built-in stabilization uh, in the software, and this one has a Sony uh, a camera sensor in there as well. So. Uh, let's get to more detail, but first let's get to this intro. Hey, welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe and definitely hit the notification so you can see what's coming up next. I do a lot of reviews like this Holy Stone. Uh, I do a lot of toy grade, hobby grade, so um, also RC cars, you name it. Anything RC, I pretty much try to put it on the channel. So anyways, guys, I wanted to get to this Holy Stone, brand new uh, HS720E. Uh, so that electronic uh, stabilization is gonna be amazing, guys. I can't wait to take this out for a flight. Let me go ahead and peel that off. I pulled the little tape off the screen there, make it look a little better there, the protective screen, but look at that camera. It's got that built-in little um, shock absorber, and now it's got digital Sony sensor in there that's gonna stabilize that, that footage. So I can't wait to take that up for um, a flight. I did take the tape off the bottom of this. Now this uh, um, has these two uh, little uh, floodlights here which is really awesome. Then you got the altitude hold camera at the bottom plus barometer. So this is a GPS and it is brushless. This has 4K um, video uh, at 30 frames per second. And in the app, you could switch it to 1080p, 60 frames per second, which makes it awesome. Cause I use 1080p a lot, especially in my editing. I do most of the edits just on my phone. I don't have a PC, so it makes it more easier for me. But this thing is awesome. Let's take a look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. You wanna open that one there first. There we go. All right. Oh, this thing is really nice. Yep, it says 4K at 30 frames per second, 14 millimeter, 130 uh, field range of view. You got uh, one third, that must be one third uh, sensor probably, F2.0, 2.0. 8 millimeter so pretty cool this thing's really neat looking you can put an SD card right here I do suggest that class 10 they even say that on there I'm gonna leave the sticker on there class 10 um, I'm gonna use a little bit uh, better speed on mine I'm gonna go with like a u3 um, to put in there um, also you can put a memory card up to uh, I think it's 128 gigabytes yeah 128 gigabytes you could put up here but I'm gonna just run like 32 to 64 guys, so I don't wanna go too crazy. This thing's gonna have 20 minutes of flight time or more. Let's take a look at that battery. So right away they have this little piece of foam on here, which is gonna keep the battery from pushing in all the way. That way um, you don't ever wanna keep your batteries inside plugged in. So this just keeps it from plugging in all the way, so that way no problems. But Make sure you take this foam off before the flight, guys. <laughs> you won't be able to get that battery in there. So let's take a look at this one. This one is 7.4 volt, 2800 milliamps. So yeah, you should probably get about 20 minutes. There's no doubt about that. So we'll have to check that out. Um, we'll see what happens when we go for the flight. That'll be in another video, guys. This is just the first look at this drone. We got some accessories. We got the controller that looks just like the HS. 510 controller GPS drone um, I have a video on that if you guys want to check that one out as well I'll leave a link in the descriptions or I'll just put it up here on the screen so let's take a look at this I'm gonna fold it out and it does have a real antenna in there you can actually see the little antenna in there so it actually has a Wi-Fi antenna coming out of there which is awesome so it feels pretty good it's not bad at all I put some batteries in it so you do have the unlock button, which is pretty easy to use. That will go and start up the motors. So once you just do one short press, when this is connected together and you do the compass calibration, all you gotta do is just do one press, it'll start up the motors and then just push up or hit the one key takeoff and it should 
uh, start the drone up for flight. So that is one key takeoff, one key land, but you have to unlock the motor first. If you hold this and keep holding this while the drone is flying or it's running, that will shut down the motors. It's emergency stop. So be careful. You don't want to go and be flying and hold that down. It'll shut the motors off and it will just drop out of the sky. So um, that's just basically for when you're landing it or an emergency. So of course on and off switch I was showing you there. Return to home button. Up here you have for the lights. I'll show you that in a minute. And then for your speed rate, you got two rates of speed. So this does not work, but this does to tilt the camera up and down. Here is your camera button to start the film if you long press it, and then long press it to shut the film back off. So make sure you do that or the, or the video will be corrupt if you shut the drone off or it loses power. So always make sure you stop your film, guys. Um, one short press will take a picture. So let's take a look at this phone holder so you pull it all the way up and tilt it forward so this comes down and I can use my iPhone 7 plus in there fits in there with the case so which is nice for me so it does tilt guys which makes it nice it's not gonna hit these antennas there's nothing on the back the only thing I wish they did go with was like a, a lipo battery system in here because right now it's only taking two double A's so kinda wish they did upgrade that on the side you have it when on mine when it's all the way up that's for GPS all the way down we will put it in altitude hold so make sure you're always in GPS when you go to take off so it locks onto your position so all right let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories here take a look at this this in here got an extra battery and it's got that foam on there too you guys so do be careful and take that off before you go and try to plug it in you got a full set of propellers in this bag, so I'm not going to open it up, but it's a full set of propellers, replacements, in case you have an accident. You got a screwdriver, which is a Phillips screwdriver in here, so I'm going to just leave it in the pack. It is a Phillips screwdriver in here. A lot of stuff compact in this little box here, so here is the charging system. Okay, since we don't have to charge the controller, you have to use AA batteries. Uh, you are going to be using this C charger, so it is going to take quite a while to charge. Um, I'll leave that uh, in the descriptions when you click on the uh, link to purchase. It will show you the charge times and give you more information, guys. So definitely look at that. Click on that. But this just plugs in on the side here. All right, these open up. Let's see if I can get this to open up here. There we go. And they have to open up all the way they go all the way back okay and these don't sit on here very good but the battery sits on top and you could go and charge both of them at the same time so you can go and plug them in and it'll start flashing green when it's charging guys then you just put the other in it's got this deal it'll show you power when you plug it in and it'll show you each side battery one battery two charging okay and then when it's done it'll just stay green all right, here's the plug. Plug it in your computer or in a wall uh, socket. So, uh, with an adapter. So, all right, there's that. And then let's take a look at the instruction manual. All right, I'm gonna open up this instruction manual. It comes in this little folder here. So here we go. We got instructions here. It looks like it's in a few different languages as well. But tons of information in here, guys. I definitely recommend to go through it. That way you can learn a little more about the app as well. The app on this one is Ophelia Go. Okay. Um, Holystone has two uh, app versions. So make sure you download this one. Just shoot it with the QR code or look it up on your iOS or Android. Okay. Ophelia Go. The other one's like Ophelia GPS or something like that. But this is the one you want. So there's that. And I'm going to go... Move this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna get this thing fired up just so you could see uh, how to bind it. And then I'll show you how to calibrate the GPS. I don't have much room here, but you'll get the idea. I could at least get you started on that. And then when I go out on the flight, you'll see more information on that. So, but for now, this is just unboxing and setup. Okay, now we're gonna set up the drone. I'm gonna do it without the app. 
Uh, with the app, you'll go ahead and uh, just watch my video. It's going to be coming out uh, shortly after this, and I'll show you how to perform everything on the application, the Ophelia Go app. But for now, we're just going to do everything manual just to get you started up right here, just to give you an idea. And I'm going to go ahead and slide the battery in, which these posts will be facing upwards. So just slide that down until it clicks. Make sure that clicks so your battery don't fall out of there. Um, you would insert your memory card. If you're going out there to go flying, you want to save some footage. But for now, what you want to do is actually turn on the controller first. And uh, one thing before I turn on the controller, if you are a person that likes to fly in mode one, you would hold this lock button and then turn on the controller while holding that lock button. It would beep a couple times, then it would change the mode to mode one because it is going to come to you in mode two. Um, and that's the way it's, it's set up. Uh, factory default but if you do want to fly in mode one that's how you do it so let's go ahead and just turn this on okay let's turn on the drone just press down I'm gonna hold it for a second let off you hear that beeping you heard a beep right here that means that it just uh, connected with it so they're both connected that double beep now you hear it's ready to be calibrated, the GPS. So it is connected, ready to be calibrated. Wait for that second beep beep. That way you can do the calibration manually. So to do the compass calibration for the GPS, bottom right hand corners, there's a double beep. Lights are flashing. So you're gonna just go counterclockwise, okay? about three times it says and I think I went a little more okay you're gonna face this thing down all right and then you're gonna go one two three okay see how the lights stop flashing so now it is ready to fly you guys you would connect to your app and like I said I will show you that in the flight video but next you would connect your Wi-Fi uh, from the drone to your mobile device. And then you would go into the Ophelia Go app and it would be all ready to go. It'll show you how many uh, uh, satellites you have and, and all, the, all the telemetry that you need, okay? Um, but anyways, that's how you do that. I just wanted to show you these cool little floodlights here. I think it should just be pressed once. Okay, it's not gonna come on until you're actually up in the air, so. I guess I can't do that until I'm in the air. Let me go down to uh, altitude hold and see if it lets me do it now. Okay, it's letting me go in the high rate. So hold this down. That's low rate. You can see it on the controller, low rate. Hold it down again. High rate. So you got two rates of speed. Now for the light, I should just do a short press. It should come on, but I think this one's set up for when you're in the air. Okay, so it is not going to come on unless you're up in the air. I'll show you that in the flight video, you guys. But that's, once it's up in the air, you can go and turn the floodlights on, and those little, uh, those two LEDs will come on. But that's how you set it up, guys. If you have any questions for me, definitely leave me a comment down below. Definitely check out the link. I'm going to put a, a coupon code in there, try to bring that price down for you. It's probably going to be a little more expensive at first because it just came out, so... That's why I'm going to add that coupon code in there. It's on Amazon, Holy Stone, so check out the link. Any other information you need to know will be in that link. It will give you more of the uh, description of everything. So, All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, Holy Stone, so much for sending this out. Guys, I can't wait to see you out in the field. Take this guy up for a flight. So definitely, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notifications so you can look for that flight. All right, guys, God bless. Cheers and happy flying.